door. <laughs> Thank you. Macy, why did she do that? Still oh. Right when I was about to cheer up, you have to take the pile. It's time for bed. All I want to do is do my stuff. <laughs> can I please have it so I can do my presentation? Please. Please. Look, can you do that door so we can answer? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Wait, why don't you go knock on the door just like I did and we can answer? Oh, thank you. Hello? What do you want, little boy? I didn't knock yet. Pet knock? I want a knock. Hello, little boy. What do you want? Your money. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi. How can I help you? What do you want, little boy? Just stop saying I'm little. <laughs> Can I help you? Hello, my name is Ryder Austin Tate, and we're just sharing this this um, brief article, brief presentation about can the dead really live again? What would you say? Yes, no, or maybe? Um, I've lost a, lo a, lo a lot of loved ones, and they have never, I've never seen them again, so no. Well... The Bible says in Acts twenty four fifteen. Would you like to hold this for me? Sure. So Acts twenty four fourteen talks about the resurrection. So. Acts, what did I say? Acts 24, 15. You can mark it, too. <laughs> so, I know you have glasses, so. I can read that. I don't have glasses. And I, and I have hope toward God, which hope these men would also look forward to that. There's going to be a resurrection of both the righteous and the unrighteous. So, um... So, is there going to be a resurrection or not? Well, yeah. But, I have a question. If How can there be a resurrection for the righteous and unrighteous? Because I've... So, um, I've had a... Here. I've had a Jehovah's Witness come to my door before, and they said that um, only the righteous will be resurrected. Or, they said something like that, and I didn't really get it, but I'm... I didn't... I mean, I don't want to ask that question, but because I didn't have an article like that. But since you have it right now, how um, well, how come the righteous and the unrighteous are being resurrected? <laughs> so how come the righteous and the unrighteous are both getting resurrected? Because unrighteous, why would they be resurrected? Why does God love them so much that he would resurrect the whole world? Well, because he created them. And they're important to him. So, even if they are important to him, they're unrighteous. They don't serve him. Why would he want to resurrect them? You don't serve him. But why would he want to resurrect them? Why would they want to resurrect you? Right. So why? I mean, what's the point of resurrecting everyone, but they don't serve him? Or well, maybe they didn't believe. So they don't believe in God, <coughs> why would God resurrect them? He cares about the world, but why would he care about the people who don't care about him? Maybe they don't know about him. What if they do know about him? Maybe they fainted and forgot and they got unconscious and couldn't remember a thing. Well, thank you so much, but I think you can um I won't take it. Sorry. Have a nice day. What? Actually, I'll take
Right, I'm sorry. It's just who says at a door what if they passed out and they'd be <laughs> Who says that at a door? It's your fault for asking me a question. I didn't know. You could have said, well, maybe next week I can. Maybe next week we can talk a little bit more about this. But you wanted to know right away. No, you could have said, well, just you could have said that. It. You would have still asked. No. I wouldn't have. And I told you why. And you still ask. He cares about the world, but it's good he to... He cares about the people. Listen. <laughs> if some somebody yeah, has a follow-up question, you need to know about follow-up questions because there's someone What are follow-up questions? <laughs> I would have said no to your presentation.